Welcome to GwinnettPrepSports.com. Todd Klein and Will Hammock here talking football. Will, and this week we're talking about playoff football, the second round, and we're talking about a dominant performance by Region 8 in the first round. They swept Region 7. Yeah, there's a lot of pride here in Gwinnett County about Gwinnett County football, how well we do. But you break that down into regions, and I think there's a lot of region pride as well. You want to say your region's the best uh, out of Region 8 and Region 7. Year in and year out, it kind of flip-flops which, uh, which team's the strongest. Certainly Region 7 had a state champion the last two years in Norcross, and, and North Gwinnett made the finals last year as well. But I think this year it's a clear case of Region 8 being the stronger region, being more physical in those first-round matchups and sweeping all four of those games. Well, one of the big upsets in that first round was Central Gwinnett knocking off North Gwinnett. That earns them a second round matchup with Newton. Break down that game, Central Gwinnett going to play at Newton. I think Newton's got a very, or Central Gwinnett has a very good chance of knocking Newton off in this one. I think Newton's uh, certainly inspired by their first round win against Valdosta, but I don't think it's an overly uh, a talented Newton team. I don't think it's going to be overwhelmed. Uh, certainly Central's played a lot tougher teams on their schedule so far this season. So if Newton, Newton's quarterback can be controlled by that Central defense, which is a very good defense, uh, I think Central can win this game despite the injuries on offense. So I look for the Black Knights to win a close one. Decula continued its very solid season by knocking off Peachtree Ridge in the first round, but their reward is a trip to Moultrie play in Colquitt County, probably maybe what some regard as the best team in the state. How can the Falcons, how will the Falcons fare against Colquitt. Yeah, it's a very tough test for Tequila. I mean, that, that's definitely the, the second round draw that nobody wanted out of Region 8 and Region 7 was that trip down to Moultrie. It's going to be a very tough test against a very talented team, a state championship type team. Uh, not, not saying Tequila can't pull off the upset, but a lot of things would have to go Tequila's way to win, win that ball game, specifically that ball game when it's played down there in Moultrie. It's going to be very tough circumstances. Uh, if certain things can, can happen, uh, Tequila gets the upset, but I think uh, probably uh, Colca gets rolling and wins this one. And we talk about Archer. Archer ended up coming back to win seven its final seven regular season games. They get a tie for the region title. They end up winning the coin flip. They get the number one seed. And then they knock off the two-time defending state champions, Nor Norcross. Next up is a dangerous Lee County team. Yeah, we talked about that rough start so much, but there's a lot of confidence over there for the Archer Tigers now. They're playing great football on both sides of the ball. Uh, a little bit of a test. Uh, can't, can't really overlook Lee County. There's a lot of talent down there. Have some pretty impressive results on their schedule this season. But I think Archer's really battle-tested from their tough schedule as well. And playing at home, i got to give Archer the edge. And then finally, we talk about Grace, and they ended up getting the number three seed because of a coin flip. Might have done them a favor because they're not going to Moultrie. They are going to Tucker. How do the Rams look? after they beat Mill Creek. Yeah, there's a lot of intrigue in this matchup. I think a lot of people are talking about how good this game could be. Tucker's got a lot of talent as well, but that Grayson defense is just dominant. I don't really don't see Tucker doing much of anything against Grayson offensively. Certainly if Mill Creek couldn't move the ball, I don't really see how uh, Tucker could either. It's going to be very low scoring on that end. I think the Grayson offense showed me a lot last week. I think they're going to make this game a little more lopsided than people might think, and Grayson gets the win. Well, that's all the time we have for this week. Please check us back out next week for more Talking Football at GwinnettPrepSports.com.